Hey everybody, this is Mark with My Whistle and Flute, and it's a beautiful late summer afternoon, and I thought I would take a minute. I just finished a, a brand new whistle uh, this afternoon, uh, really this morning, and then we went to lunch. I came back and I thought I'd come out here and sit in the backyard. It's a beautiful day here in Maine, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this whistle and about the pentatonic scale in general. So you may be familiar with the pentatonic scale. Uh, the pentatonic scale, the word pent or penta from five, so it's a five note scale. There are six notes if you, if, from one note in the scale to the next octave of that same note. So in this case, this is G major. So from G to the next G up is six notes. So there are five notes in the scale. Uh, let me just play the scale for you from G to G. Okay, so it's five. So why, why would you do that? Why would you want a pentatonic scale? Well. Pentatonic scales, both in the major and in the minor key, are incredibly beneficial in a few ways, in my opinion. One, if you have someone that wants to play an instrument, they don't want to play necessarily in a group. They just want something to uh, relieve some stress, to make some music that they can enjoy, and maybe that their family can enjoy. A pentatonic scale is great for that. In both the major and the minor scale, it just, because basically, uh, think of it this way, all the notes rhyme. They all sound good together, no matter what order you play them in. That was just a random notes up and down, but that's the beauty of the pentatonic scale. A lot of music in uh, Chinese and Japanese music is also based on pentatonic scales because of its simplicity and its beauty. So I think that it is great to play in a pentatonic scale because if you just want to make music that comes from the inside of you, the pentatonic scale is great for that. I have uh, customers who use pentatonic flutes and whistles that I have made for them in therapy sessions, again, to let clients play them or to play them for the clients. This would be great uh, by the bedside uh, in a hospital or in a nursing home, someplace where um, soothing music would be required. You don't have to play anything necessarily recognizable, although a lot of uh, folk songs have been written in a pentatonic scale. Some very popular songs, like uh, Concerning Hobbits from The Lord of the Rings, is in a major pentatonic scale. So it's not that the, it's limited, it's just, it's simple, and it's beautiful. So I think that the pentatonic scale, our brain is just designed to grasp the pentatonic scale. It makes sense. It's also very therapeutic and something that I highly recommend if you're just looking for an instrument, whether it's a flute or a whistle, that can just that you can play and enjoy. Consider the major or minor pentatonic scale. And I think I don't think you'll be disappointed. I know for me, if I'm looking for an instrument just to pick up and take for a walk in the woods, I grab either one of my uh, sorry about that, I just got a Facebook message. Um, I grabbed either one of my whistles or flutes in a major or minor pentatonic scale, and I don't worry about how it sounds, I just play. So you can improvise very well on, on a uh, pentatonic scale, and just, it's a lot of fun. And this instrument in particular, I want to talk to you a little bit about these whistles. I've been making these alto and low whistles now for about a year. Um, and I, I struggled for a little while with the windway because alto and low whistles generally take a lot of, a lot of breath. So I was looking for a, a, um, a trade-off between volume but not having to have so much breath that you run out of breath when you're trying to sustain a note. So I have, uh, this is a three quarter, piece of three quarter inch solid red PVC, and I use a, a lathe actually to machine down the half inch PVC underneath the, the mouthpiece here so that it fits on snugly. Then when I cut the windway, the windway is much more narrow and takes much less breath uh, to, uh, to, to get a note. In fact, the lower octave is not so much blowing as it is just breathing.
those notes, it's doubtful that if I just took the flute out and, and, and had the same breath, I doubt I could even blow out a birthday candle. It doesn't take much. It takes a little bit more when you get to this top of the second octave, but again, it is easy to make music with, uh, with this instrument. Then, because, then I use a uh, heat gun to heat up the PVC and um, uh, force it down over the body of the whistle, and then it cools and hardens into place. So you can actually take it apart and it makes cleaning quite a bit easier. Just run some hot water and a rag through there and it makes the cleaning of the flute much, much easier. The fipple block is made out of a, a piece of oak dowel and this is a new design, um, not new, it's new for me uh, to be cutting in this um, type of uh, mouth. Normally I was using between a 35 and a 45 degree angle, so this is uh, a new design. I'm just uh, playing with it. I've sent out some whistles and sold some with this design and I kind of like it. Um, but I, I do either an angle or this curved mouthpiece here. But uh, anyway, the pentatonic scale, and this is red. I make it with all different kinds of colors, blue, yellow, green, white, black, red, uh, and just lots of different colors. I love the red, I love the sound, and I wanna encourage you to consider uh, a pentatonic flute or whistle. Not necessarily for me, though I'd be happy to provide one, but if you're looking for something just to enjoy making music, consider the pentatonic scale. And I hope you'll have a great day.